This is my work from my three studio classes. I had silk screen, collage and construction, and then studio with Mo. I kind of see all my work as a whole. It's been a research within race and blackness and my environment versus other people's perception of race, in my opinion. And just my exploration through it within like stuff that's happening like daily with like the Trayvon Martin case and specific things that I feel with pop culture and me emulating it. Tell me about the photograph. Well, it's about like extravagance and my perception of pop culture with race. It's like this whole idea of black pool. I went out in public and dressed myself up in what I like see as like extravagance of so just like paper, like paper jewelry. Some guy told me I looked fabulous, so I asked him to take a photo with me. It was kind of like the vulnerability of people staring at me, but also like this confidence that I already knew that I looked crazy, so I just like I went with it. Like there was no fear with it or anything. I kind of want to take this with me this summer when I'm in New York and kind of like experiment like going on public transportation and trains and. The fact that this is paper, it's really funny, but I feel like, you know, what if you took it, not to make it look like actual jewelry, but just took it up a little bit of a notch. Mm -hmm. But what I love is that when you're performing with it, that you do take on this bigger persona. Mm -hmm. You do tend to be a little bit shy yeah. and retiring, but when you're in this and when you're up here in your work, it comes out big. Mm -hmm. And so I agree, I think you should do a lot more of it. I mean, that image of you waking up in bed wearing this thing, it's hysterical. I, I see the, the printed piece and the necklace being separate from the rest of it. Yes. I think that something about it feels like, you know, like the residue for performance and then an object, but it's all coming together. Like, I think you have to be very specific yeah. about how these things work together. I'd like to see the figures, the two large figures released from the paper and become cutouts done exactly the same way. I think of, of the images on the wall almost as paragraphs and they're sentences. And within the sentence, you have accents which gives something so that things are larger, smaller. But I think you need more variety of size. The little pieces toward the bottom are quite wonderful. And it would be interesting um, if you made an animated feature of one or two of those, just in terms of what they become, how they become, how do they move, why do they move. Um, I think you might get a lot out of it.